Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, it is all about teaching you how to create different types of print-on-demand designs using Canva. I focus primarily on t-shirts, but you can use these techniques for any different types of products that you want. And I try to go over different styles of trending designs or things that are appropriate for the season. So if this is something that you're interested in, if you're new to print on demand or new to using Canva, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to create this design right here. It says weird moms build character and I'm going to show you how to create this weird text effects. It's kind of wobbly and distorted and outlined and it's got some lines through it. So we're just gonna use a combination of different photo techniques to, to create this design. If you'd like to learn some of these different techniques so that you can create some weird looking fonts in the future, go ahead and stick around. So as always, we're starting with our blank backdrop. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels and I am gonna be designing on black today. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my backdrop color to black here. Perfect. Now this is a text-based design, but we're gonna be using photo effects on the text. Now some of these I have shown you before, but we're gonna take it a step farther. So first thing I'm gonna do is just put some text on here. So I'm gonna click T on my keyboard to pull up a text box. And this is one that I do wanna write it in all caps, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start that way. And this is gonna say weird moms build character. Um, so weird moms build build character. So just like that. And I do want to go ahead now and we are going to select a font again, something big, bold, fun, but we're going to be playing with it. So lots of different ways you can go with this. Um, there's some like that. Um, I do want it to be something really thick, really bold. You could use something like a comic type font or kids type font it might be cool. Um, I'm going to be distorting it so it doesn't necessarily have to look distorted to start with, but there's a lot of different, you know, fun texts that we could do. Um, sometimes I like to come up here and type in display and it'll give you all the different display fonts. And so some of these already look kind of distorted or weird. Um, again, you don't have to start with anything weird because I am going to be distorting it but I do need it to be something kind of big and thick and bold, okay? So you definitely don't wanna pick anything like super thin, that won't work really well. I want it to be nice and thick. And so you can just, you can play with these. Find one that you like, it doesn't really matter which one you like, as long as it's a good thick, you know, font, we can, we can work with it. There's lots of different cool ones here, okay. I kind of like that one because it looks a little weird to begin with. So I think it'll look, I think it'll look good once we um, distort it and you know, it's good and bold. So I just went ahead and picked, it is uh, glicker semi-bold is what we went with. And I would like um, the lines to be closer together to start with. So I'm going to come up to my line spacing here and I'm going to bring the lines closer together. Ooh. Oh, it only did it for a few. <laughs> hey, when it does that. So you might have to highlight the whole thing. Try again and bring all of the line spacing close together, something like that. All right. Weird moms build character. And actually I might might want to go ahead and cut this one out and paste it so it's at a different line. That way I can resize these differently since these are all very short words and this is a very long word. So let's say I want these to be, you know, that big, but I want this one to be more like that. Okay. Still evenly spaced though. So something like that, again, doesn't really matter how you want to do it. 
I do want to put some colors in here, lots of different ways you can go with the colors, doesn't really matter. I just want them to be big and bright. And I need them to be extra bright because some of the effects that we're going to use are kind of going to dull them down just a smidge. So, oops, no, I want it one letter at a time. So I'm just going to pick one letter. And I can do it like this and then I can pick the next letter. And I can just go down the rainbow this way. That looks cool. And so this is one way that you can get colors that are similar in terms of like brightness or tone is just by sliding down and it's going to keep it more or less in the same spot in terms of the brightness. And so by selecting one letter at a time, I can change each letter, really make it look different, so weird. Looks good. I'm going to keep going with this, moms. Don't want it to be too dark. This is one where I might bring it down just so it's not too dark there. And then I can keep going. I'm going to leave that there. Bring it more into a purpley range. And this one is going to come into a pink range. Kind of that pinkish. And then it can go right back to red and we can start over and we can do this again for every letter. Okay, so there I've got Weird Mom's build character. Now right now it's just text, which means I can't do any photo effects on it. It won't let me. The only way to do photo effects on it is going to be to go ahead and save it and then we can bring up to the saved image and then we can use photo effects on the image. So you gotta make sure everything's kind of the way you want it now. Make sure your colors look good and your spacing looks good. Don't worry about whether or not it's centered in the page or not because that we can take care of at the end once we have our, um, our final image. You do wanna make sure that you've got space around the edge. So don't make it fill the entire page because when we go to do some of the distortion effects, you need to have space around the borders. If you don't have space, then um, it kind of blocks how much you can distort it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit more space on all edges. So something like that I think looks pretty good. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and save this now so I can come up to save, download. We're gonna leave it as a PNG. We're gonna do a transparent background on this. Oops, and I'm just gonna download it. And once you have it download, we're gonna bring the image up. Now we don't need this anymore. You can get rid of it entirely, but in case you make a mistake and you wanna be able to change it, an easier way would just be to go ahead and add a page. Now we can work on this page, and if we have any mistakes, we can go back up and change it up top. So if you wanted to change the colors or whatnot, you could. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little drag and drop. And that'll put it right here. So you can see right now that it's kind of uploading. Once that fills up, then I can go ahead and use the photo effects on it. So there we go. Here's my weird mom's build character. So there's a few effects we're going to use. I'm going to come up to edit image. And way down towards the bottom, there's a liquify effect. Now I showed you how to use this on a different video and we're going to be doing the same technique here, but we're just going to be adding to it. So I'll give it a second. There we go. And again, I like to use the wobble one because that's going to give you, a, you know, an up and down distortion as opposed to just side to side, which is what a lot of them will do. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my wobble. There we go. And so now you can already see it's distorted it. And so I can really play with how much or how little it distorts. So come here and it's going to really change kind of the shape of it. So I can pick sort of what type of shape I like. And so 
I want it to still be readable. And that's kind of the catch is that no matter how much you distort it, you still need it to be able to be read. So if you distort it way too much so that it's impossible to read, you know, that won't go over well. So I want to distort it enough that it looks weird, but not so much that I can't read it. So something like this looks fine. It just gives it a little bit of a wobble. I'm going to do some more distortion um, with another one. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. And we'll give it a second. Sometimes it takes a minute to kind of finalize. Let's see. Is it done? Nope, oh, there it is, now it's done. Okay. So then the other effect that I wanna use on this is actually gonna be the bad TV. So I'm gonna show you how we would use that one. So down here, there is a bad TV section. And again, lots of different ways you can go with this. Um, I don't think it really matters because they're all gonna give you the same controls, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick fuzz. And you'll see the controls once I pick. So the fuzz, you can kind of adjust down here with the noisiness. So as I bring the noisiness up, it's gonna give a little bit of a grain, but that also lightens your colors. So if you didn't have very bright colors to begin with, they'll kind of go away. You can also see that I'm starting to lose some of the definition or the differences in colors that are similar are starting to look the same. So you can bring it up or down as much as you want. I don't want to lose too much of my color though, so I might keep the noisiness down a little bit. Now it's also being distorted up here. It says fine distort. That's what's giving it this sort of wavy look. So I mean, I can bring that way up and really distort it. So that's your fine distort. I'm going to bring it down. I do want a little bit of waviness, but it doesn't have to be anything crazy. There's also a thick distort. So if I was to do that, you're going to see how I can just look like I'm sort of pulling it from either edge. And again, I want it to be easily red. So you probably don't want to distort it that much. Something like that might look cool. Roll speed will just kind of move it up and down. Oops, let's see if it's gonna work. Yeah, so like it's rolling up and down the page, which you don't really want for this type of design. So I'm gonna bring that down. And then you can also put some cool lines through it. So let's say I do something like this, and now I'm getting those kind of TV lines going through it. And again, I can make as many or as little as I want. It's also gonna kind of play with your color. So again, I'm starting to lose the color when I do this. So if I bring them all the way up, it's gonna kind of look like that. Again, I don't wanna lose the color too much. So I might keep the lines, but maybe bring this down so that I'm still keeping my colors. So I kind of like the way that looks. So I can hit apply when I'm done. And so now you can see kind of weird looking. It's distorted, it's colorful, it's got the lines through it. It's definitely weird. So if you're wanting some weird looking text for anything, this is a cool technique that you can use. If you really want it to pop, so in this case, maybe it might blend into the background a little bit more than I like, I can always go ahead and use an outline on this. So let me see if this is all done, looks good. I can go over to my shadow feature and do a glow on it. And let's see if this is gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a white glow. Don't want any blurriness. Make it big enough so that I can see it. Don't want any transparency either. Oh, gotta put the blur the other way, blur down. There it is. All right, so now you can see I've put some lines around it. It's making it pop a little more. Now I can make it a real thick outline if I want to, something like that. I'm really thick, or I can bring it down and make it a very thin outline. So it depends kind of how you, how you want to play with it. Um, I don't know, I kind of like the thick. It's making it look weird and different. It's really making it pop a little bit, so. You know, something like that looks kind of cool. 
And so let's just say I went with that one. I gave it a sec. Now that I have the image the way I want it, I can crop it in. Oops, I don't even need to. I can position it in the page now where I want it. So now I can pick the size that I want and the position that I want. And so, Okay, so there you have Weird Mom's Build Character. And so this is the design that we made and this was what it originally looked like. So you can see how we've distorted that text quite a bit. And so again, it's not the kind of thing that you would use on a lot of designs, but there are, you know, certain times where you might want to utilize this technique to really, you know, make your make your text a little bit different than everybody else's. And again, you can only do this with the text once you've saved it as an image and then use the photo effects on it. But you can definitely create some, some kind of weird trippy designs. Um, looking at this, you might decide that you want to change some of the colors up because I can see that sort of the orange and yellow sort of start to blend together a little bit. So maybe you just pick one. Maybe you go from yellow, I mean from red to yellow to maybe a darker green. That way I don't lose it quite so much. Um, and that's kind of why we keep this up here too, so that if you want to make any changes to your colors because they're not quite popping the way you want, you can, you know, come up here, change it, play with it, save it, and then try again down here. So just a quick little video to show you some different techniques that you can utilize. Um, I have seen several shirts that say Weird Moms Build Character, so it was just one of the trends that I was noticing. Um, I hope you found this useful. I hope you can find a way to utilize this in the future. Um, and thank you for watching. So that is it for today's video. If you found this helpful, uh, please hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.